Let's do it then. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. Happy Halloween. Today is the 1st of November, and today is a day that the Christmas song starts playing all over the place, but we are taking the MX-5 to a quite beautiful circuit. I have to pick up a friend, so I gotta get rolling quite fast. An hour away, let's go. So real car enthusiasts will know to which circuit I'm going. It is named as one of the most dangerous circuits in the world. I've been there a few times and today is another time to get some laps done. And it also looks like the sun isn't with us right now, but maybe later on this day. Hello, am I speaking with the weatherman? Yeah, I would like to order some sun for later on this this day, during the day, uh, let's say about 11 or 12, and then for the whole day, just clear skies. Is that possible? Okay, thank you. No, I'm uh, going to Germany. Yes, thank you. Come on, boys, have you ever seen a road like this in Belgium? This is meant to drive 200, but, well, yeah, there's a speed camera, so let's just take it very easy here. And before we enter the Autobahn, we have to fill up the car with some gas. Some good Belgium fuel. Off we go, on the, to the German Autobahn, 170, 180, and now 180. 90. This is so stressful. But that's how we get way fast to the circuit. And that's 200. 200. Nobody in the rear view mirror. Let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. And see if we can hit 210. Just know when you're at the Nürburgring when M2s, GT3s, GT4s start pulling up. I think we're at the right place. And the Supra in front of us. What do you think? Sooner on the channel than you think. Tim, where are you at? We've got the M140E. And casual next to it, the GT4 with some bronze golden wheels. This is a sick, sick spec choice. And then another a GT3 4.0 zero driving by just casual we also got some belgium mates over here and this is a recently entered car in belgium because 2g is like one of the more newer cars in belgium for the registration so some porsches over here and in the background we can already see the nordschleife a casual new m2 We've got the miata crew representing in germany we drove past this Supra on the Autobahn, right hand drive, pretty sick. The Belgian people are also going for a lap on the circuit. With a new registered Porsche, that's what you need to do. We just secured our tickets for the day, but I'm just going to wait till the mist flows away. It's not for nothing that it's called the Green Hell, one of the most dangerous circuits in the world. So we're going to take it easy in the afternoon. Right, 
afternoon. Time for us to get on the ring. Kobe's first time as a passenger. I almost stalled the car already, first time. Let's get past the cone, cones and... Off we go. guys do they go on the left let's go off we go It's an MX-5! No! My brother! Here we go, GT3 ring taxi, on to the left. Now let's close the roof, take a break, take a sip of water and uh, go for the next round. So I just finished my first lap around the Nordschleife today and look who is there, the sun. The sun which I ordered is now available for us to enjoy and time for a second lap around the Nordschleife. But first I need to cool down a bit let it calm, let me calm down and spot some cards before going again on the notch life. Also, give the MX-5 a break. And at the Nürburgring, of course, you see a lot of BMWs, BMWs and race performance versions and Porsches. Porsches, the king of the Nürburgring. We've got this nice GT4 RS. Digging the choice on the wheels. Pretty, pretty nice choice of specification here. All the way from the UK coming to the Nordsch life to enjoy some laps.
the knob. Yeah. Ready to hit the track. Life's too short to drive boring cars. Let's get it. Sick wing on the Supra and the Voss on wheels. Good choice. Nothing better than a good German dish with Bratwurst und Fried. And of course, a view over the sport cars passing by. New M2. Just filling up this gas tank. Oh, P12. That's no stock. Exhaust. Also, if you're coming to the Nürburgring one day, just know Tankstelle is one of the better places to come and car spot because cars come here to fill up their car and leave as fast as they can towards the ring to go for some more laps. And this is also the only place where you can like really film 
good of the cars because on the ring you need a media pass or something. It's a license that you need to like be able to film and post your content without copyright on YouTube. Otherwise, these guys, the car spotters who do have the media pass, will come and strike you. If you look through the trees, through the trees, we can see some damaged Porsches, race versions. They uh, must have had quite a crash. This guy is going nuts, like all, all the time. Like when we passed the tunnel, like two hours ago, he was drifting from here to there. So maybe we're going to see a part two. That was a proper acceleration. We've got the, if my camera wants to focus, the GT2 RS MR, which was once one of the fastest around the ring, and a GT3 RS MR behind it. Sick combo. Porsche fanboys, if you're not paying any attention, make sure you do right now because we have lots of Manti racing and Porsche race cars over here. GT3 RS, GT3 Touring, we've got another GT3, another GT3 RS, another and it just keeps on going. I'm liking this purple wrap on. And when you come to the Nürburgring, you also have to check out this, well, yeah, tunnel. <laughs> Feels bad, brother. The ring is already closed. Must have been a serious accident. And what has been a very nice day at the Nürburgring is coming to an end. Sadly, we're having to leave home. That guy just pulled the wheelie. We have to leave back to Belgium. This one for the viewers. <laughs> Look at the nature just flexing on us. If you ever have the chance to come to the Nürburgring, just do it. Just do it. It's way too much fun here. Seven sixty-five. Off he goes. What a beautiful car. And it's something quite cool to have in your rear view mirror. What a car. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my lover. And of course, after a Nürburgring, we've got to fill up the tank again so that we can get home. Where the heck am I right now? Like this is something from out of a horror movie or something. Just straight abandoned roads with just nothing of life to be seen. Ah, this is scary. This is scary, this is scary.